Hi there guys, uh, welcome back to a new episode and we're going to talk upgrades. Basically we're going to upgrade from that little tiny brake caliper to those ones. Right, many of you will know that is the standard Mark 1 50 horsepower brake caliper. It's tiny. What I'm going to do with Alice is put a bigger a ZTEC engine in it. And we're looking at, I mean, it's going like 50 horsepower. And we're going to talk about putting a ZTEC engine in it. They're somewhere around about the 150 brake horsepower mark. Well, they're not going to do the job, are they? So, these ones are going on. And just as a bit of a quick comparison, they're a bit bigger, these ones. Right, so what are these off of then? Well, they're off of a Ford, and they're off of a Ford car. It's actually the sport car, or the street car, or whatever it's called. I'll put a picture of it. Um, so you can see what these look like. Much, much bigger. Now, the brake pads on the Fiesta, the original brake pads, the original brake pads on the Fiesta look like that. Little tiny, teeny, tiny brake pads. The new ones look like that. So much, much better stopping power. Uh, the holder for the brake pads for the Mark 1 looks like that. Standard one. For the street car, looks like that. So again, slight difference you're obviously going well that's not going to fit is it? it's massive but what i've been told is that the bolt pattern for these is exactly the same on here so these fit where these should have been so what you can see then is that the bracket here for the ford the original car ones is slightly bigger than this one so I'm going to have to get the grinder out and chop some material away. Um, I'm using the brake hub that I took off of the Dona Fiesta that I had when I built the brake jig. I'll put a link up to it. I think it's there, the link comes up. Uh, but I'll put a link to it so you can go and have a look at that and see exactly what I've built and what I did. But basically, this is the hub that I'm going to be using. And I'm using it just to make sure that everything fits. Um, and basically, right, I'll just show you these brakes a little bit closer here. These are the original ones, and as you can see, they bolt up nice and neatly on the back there. Plenty of room against there. And the new ones for the Ford car, they also bolt up to the back here, but as you can see, there, it starts to touch so that's no good and you should be able to see there just how much off it actually is and it's not a massive amount it's probably about i should think if i took about a centimeter away from there these brakes will fit perfectly so i'm just going to mark that up check it all out and then i'll start grinding it Right, so as you can see, I took out about 5mm from this carrier here, uh, and that fits nicely. It all turns nice and easy, it doesn't touch on anything, doesn't foul it at all, so there's plenty of room there. These obviously bolt up absolutely perfect, uh, and they fit quite nicely, like that. As you can see, the disc is a little bit too small for there. So we need a slightly bigger disc. Uh, the other thing we can notice is that the disc itself sits 
slightly offset so that's a problem that needs correcting as well um, it's not a massive amount but it, it is a little bit so we need to correct that slightly as well all right so we've got from the disc to the carrier about five mil on that side and we've got on this side we're looking at about 14 mil something like that so it's roughly about nine mil too far that way right then so these are now the brackets they've all been ground off nice and neatly like that and obviously I've thrown them in the powder coating oven and they look absolutely amazing I've even done the calipers as well which also look absolutely astounding they are fantastic I love this powder coating stuff it's amazing so the only job left to do now obviously is to zinc plate these clips uh, I've got the other one to do as well so got that to do in a, f in a bit so that is the basic brake conversion for the Fiesta right so I've got this hub unit here uh, and I've fitted the new powder coated parts to it which just look really nice when it's all put together uh, obviously the hub doesn't look fantastic but it will do when that's powder coated um, when we look from the top here we can see that the brake disc is very close on this side we've got quite a big gap on this side um, what I've been looking at today is different combinations of brake discs for this um, now the ventilated discs for a car a Ford car they're still 44 millimeters in height there the difference being is that the disc is 20 mil thick there so the disc doesn't is actually built this way which means that this gap that I've got here will get taken up by the rest of the disc with the vented one so a ventilated disc there for a Ford car will be perfect um, what I did notice this morning I was a little bit worried about is that these discs here have got 73 mil center there across that there but as you can see as you can see with this when you look there there's a massive gap uh, and this diameter here is only 63 mil and the brake discs for a Ford car are 63 mil on the middle so they will definitely fit on this hub so I've got a set of brake discs on order and they will fit perfectly now the next question I've got on this is will a wheel fit well what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test it on Alice the plan is then that I can use Alice here and what I can do is jack her up so I can take the wheel off and then the brake caliper that's there I can also unbolt and just put to one side uh, then I'll be able to bolt on the the new powder coated ones and then I'll be able to put the wheel back on again and make sure that nothing fouls it um, and then I'll be also able to test it with a 13 inch um, steel wheel as well. Right, so the caliper is there and I'm hoping I can get in there to show you that that is actually quite good. There's quite a bit of space there and there's quite a bit of space up the top there as well. It's a bit harder to film that top one but there. There's quite a bit of space there as well so nothing's actually catching I was a bit worried about the the weights but there's not a lot of space but there is space there um, if there was going to be a problem there I could put the weights on the outside of the rim as well but with that alloy wheel that fits rather well to be quite honest so uh, 
I'm going to try it with a steel wheel now, see if that makes any difference. Right there. It doesn't actually touch. Right, so that looks like a fairly easy, cheap conversion for the brakes to get them a lot bigger on a Fiesta, especially if you're gonna do something like this where you wanna put the, the bigger ZTEC engine in it, then this is definitely something you need to think about. Um, so I've got the brakes on order. They are for a Ford car as well. They are the vented 240 mil discs for that. Um, as soon as they arrive, I'll be able to fit them to the car, fit the calipers on, bleed them, and everything will be good to go. So, what I'll do now is I'll put a description below with as much, as, I, as much information as I can. Part numbers, what car they're from, what year, sizes, all that sort of stuff so that you can also go out there and get the parts you need to do this job for yourselves. So if you like what you see in this video, press that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot and bye bye.